I really don't know how this film snuck in the Midnight Madness category because there's not much, if any, horror in this film at all. But I'm not mad at it. <laughs> and it also didn't mean I did like it. But nonetheless, folks, let's jump into my review of the film The Lava. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. And today we're going to be reviewing the film The Lava, which is being shown this year at Toronto International Film Festival, TIFF 2021, under the Midnight Madness category, question mark. And yes, as I said, like when you're when you're talking about films inside the Midnight Madness category, there's only like a few this year. They're horror films. So, you know, as much horror as I watch, you know, it's easy to say you're a horror film, you're supposed to be scared, there's supposed to be some heightened level of violence, whatever it may be. And this film really wasn't that for me at all, if any. Quite frankly, this film was very comical. It almost felt like a parody of some sort. And I'm not I'm not mad at that at all. There were some characters like I easily gravitated to because of just how extreme their personalities were and how likable they were. And I just wanted more of it. But yeah, to me, this came off more like a mild drama and some comedy, a little bit of horror because of the supernatural element that is relevant within the story, but actually never really isn't shown for real. But whatever it may be, I think this film could have easily been dropped into another category and people still would have enjoyed it. But however you get there, Zavala, I think it's a film that uh, I was kind of duped, but hey, I'm still cool with it. So let me tell you what's going on really quickly in this. So Zalava is a village in the northwestern part of Iran. You have Masood, who's a sergeant, and he's pretty much there to keep order within the town, making sure that guns are in order, he's respected, and so on. But there is one little issue that's going on here because of a, a, a death within the city. Um, there seems to be a supernatural demon entity that is plaguing the town. And while that's the case, he has to get to the bottom of it, the murder and everything. And also, they got to try to mitigate this issue. So that's essentially what it is, because with this presence in the town, this is sending the town folks crazy. And I don't mean crazy in the sense of being possessed, but crazy in the sense of they don't know who to trust. And quite frankly, about 80 percent of this film, someone is pointing a gun at somebody. People are trigger happy and they're not happy until they know that this entity has been taken care of so essentially somebody uh and you can watch the film and find out but essentially somebody claims that they have captured the entity into a bottle and then masu is the one who's basically uh the you know is responsible of of, of keeping the safety of it but he's also kind of curious too to kind of like is it true because i'm not really buying this and like you know just the whole battle do i open it what happens and is it a hoax? You know, all of that sort of different stuff. So while that's happening, like he's having these funny moments of like slightly opening it and then closing it. And then like, you know, all types of the comical and funny and funny stuff like that. Um, and, and then like with that, he you know, he's, he's, he's the, he's your main focus in this, in this film. And he is definitely a charm to watch because I think he's just, he gives you that really unpredictable personality and you just don't know what this character is going to do next. And like, as I said, there's so many, um, characters in this film. And when I mean characters, not just people, but like characters, people who are like giving you depth to who they are and not in the sense of being complex, but just in the sense of like, Oh, that, that's, that person represents that type of personality within this village. You know, those type of people, you know, also my favorite character was the cat in this. Like when you see the cat, you're probably going to agree as well too. Um, but as I said, regardless of these characters, the people who play these roles, whether small or big, everybody's really shine in whatever bit of screen time that they had. And that's what I really liked about the film. You had this one character who just kept running, trying to shoot another character and then he'll run off. And it was just like, he was only in the movie for probably like a minute. And I loved them, you know what I mean? So, like, that's what I meant by, like, how people were able to utilize even the smallest screen time to really be enjoyable. Um, but I got to say with how, you know, unpredictable the town folks were, 
the ending was a little messed up, folks. Like, it's super on par with what should have happened, considering the personalities within the village. But the ending was literally kind of messed up. Like, the town folks were timid the entire time, so you know there was going to be a up moment in it. So, you will see. So, none of that's the lava a film in the Midnight Madness category, which, you know, labeled as horror and drama. Probably not horror. I get it. You know, there's a little bit of blood in this. People have guns, so I guess violence and whatnot. There's a demon presence, you know, involved in the story, but really isn't there. So I guess, but either way, however you want to enjoy it, I think it's a film you should check out. But totally jump in the comments, check it out. Let me know your thoughts about this film and then stay tuned for more reviews very soon. Big old bell.